Hello everyone, I am Ashna Anjum. Today we are going to study about the nested structure. What is nested structure? It is basically a structure within a structure. When we write a structure and inside that we make another structure, then that is a case of the nested structure. Now assume within a structure A, there is another structure B. Then like other structure members of A, we are talking about this structure A, B also become one of its member. Now this will become more clear when I'll explain it with a diagram. Okay. Now you can see these two examples. In this I have taken structure student as the parent structure and the structure address as the, uh, as the child structure okay the structure address is inside the structure student okay there are two ways to do that like you can there are two ways to make nested structure one is that you entirely declare and define the structure inside the structure or else you can separately declare both the structure and if you want to make this address structure as the child of the student structure then you have to define the structure variable of the address inside the structure student okay now see this example i uh, how many members are there there are three members first member is the n that is the name of the student then the int roll number that is the roll number of the student and the third member is itself a structure okay the structure address and since this structure is also a, uh, this address is also a structure so it will also contain uh, will consist of some members like it is consisting car city and car state as the two members and since this is a structure and we need to allocate some space to this structure we need to make a structure variable so the same way as we usually do like uh, uh, at the end of the curly braces name give the name of the structure variable and it's and then the semicolon and uh, for this structure student again after the curly braces give the name of the structure variable in this case what i have done i have separately written uh, the this structure that is a struct address and the two members of this structure address that is the city and the state give the semicolon i have not defined the structure variable uh, along with this structure because I have to make this structure address as a child inside the structure student okay so inside the structure student I gave the character name and the int roll number and since I want to nest this address structure inside the structure student I defined the structure variable of the address structure inside the structure student so I wrote struct name of the structure and the structure variable and the semicolon so this also become one of the member of the structure student and then i close the curly bracket and i give the structure variable of the structure student opj now today i am using the code blocks compiler to compile my c program okay so here i am writing hash include okay then stdio dot h okay then i am writing the struct student okay uh, sorry i am writing the struct student and inside this i am writing the structure member of the student like i am writing char name and i am giving this size as 20 and then int roll okay and then inside the structure student i am nesting one more structure named as address okay inside this address what i am writing i am writing cat city okay and i am giving this as size 20 and one more uh, structure member of the structure address that is struct state okay now since this is a structure and I need to allocate the space to the structure address so I am going to de define a structure variable of the structure address so I am writing A here and similarly I have to do for the struct student so I am writing one structure variable for the structure student okay now I am moving towards the main program okay inside this I am printing message for the user 
that enter enter the name of the student okay and semicolon and scan a function and since this is the name so percent s and then what i have to use i already told you when we access the structure member of a structure we have to write the name of the structure variable since this is the mm, uh, member which we are accessing so it comes inside the structure student so what is the structure variable of the student the structure variable of the student is obj okay so i am writing the name of the structure variable obj then the dot operator and then the name of the structure member so n okay semicolon now I have to uh, what I am doing is that I am just copying this thing uh, copy this and then I am pasting this okay and don't forget to write the ampersand sign because this is a scanf function as we already know and here I am uh, including the new line character as well now in the second line I have to ask the roll number of the student so I'm just uh, changing the n as roll this is the second structure member of the student structure okay then again I'm here adding a new line character okay again I'm pasting this now I am asking the user for the city of the student okay so for that reason I have now OBJ alone does not have the structure member city now this OBJ structure variable OBJ does not have the structure member directly as city but OBJ has the structure variable as structure address and inside the address there is city therefore in order to access city obj has to access first a and then city so in this case we are going to write obj dot a dot city okay i'm copying this line okay and i'm pasting this now in order to access the state i'm just writing here state and since state is also present inside the structure student inside the structure address so first i have to access the structure variable of the structure student and then i have to access the structure variable of the structure address and then i can access state of the structure address okay now i am just going to print all these things in front of the user so i am writing name name equal to percent s then semicolon and obj dot name n sorry okay then i am just copying this statement and in place of n i am writing role okay and here percent d and in place of name i'm writing row okay again i'm pasting the same statement and instead of writing dot n first i have to access the structure variable of the structure address and then i can access city okay this is also percent s so i'm here directly writing city okay now i have to access the state so again i have to access first the structure variable of the structure address and then the state the percent s and then here i am writing state okay this is all now what i am doing is that i am including the new line character in every sentence so that it doesn't look messy on the output console so i am writing here first uh, new line character in every printing statement and yes don't forget to write ampersand operator in the scanf function otherwise it will show almost a very funny error okay so let's build this prog program okay so they are asking me for the 
student name so i am writing the student name ashna then they are asking me the roll number so i wrote it then they are asking me for the city so i am writing jaipur and then they are asking me for the state rajasthan now you can see we got the result name equal to ashna roll equal to 55 city equal to jaipur and state equal to rajasthan now let me explain this program once more now what happens in this is that first i have made a struct student inside that i have made n as the member role as the member and structure address the entire structure as one of the member of the structure student and since this is itself a structure it is also going to consist of its of some of the member like city and state now to allocate the space for this structure address i have to make the structure variable so i have wrote a then in order to allocate the memory for this structure student i have to make structure variable obj now when we are accessing n and role then we can directly access it with the variables obj because these are the direct structure member of the student but in order to access city and state with the help of the obj first we have to access this structure address and then we can access the structure member of this address structure so therefore in order to access city and state we have to first write obj then dot operator like i did here obj then dot operator and then the structure variable of the address structure then the dot operator and then the name of the structure member which is present inside the structure address i hope you understand thank you for watching my video